Hi, this is Alison Robertson, field crops pathologist with Iowa State University, and I am in a corn on cornfield here in central Ames. And I want to talk today about anthracnose leaf blight, how to recognize the symptoms. So first of all, anthracnose leaf blight is very common in corn on cornfields because the spores from the pathogen splash up from the residue. So this is where you need to look for anthracnose leaf blight. It's pretty rare to find anthracnose leaf blight in a corn on soybean field. So what are we looking for? So you'll first notice anthracnose leaf blight on the lower leaves of the corn plant. So that first and second leaf, and you'll notice these brown lesions that are sometimes surrounded by a yellowish halo. This is a close-up of those lesions. So you can see that they're elliptical in shape, but notice that they have a dark purple margin, lighter in the center, and then you can see that yellowish. And if you look behind in the background, you can see that corn stalk, so that residue from where the spores are being splashed up onto those lower leaves. Most of the time, once we get to canopy closure with the corn, then we no longer seem to see anthracnose leaf blight, probably because those raindrops are not splashing the spores up onto those lower leaves. Remember too that those bottom five leaves die and fall off the plant by about V12. So anthracnose leaf blight is really not a disease that we worry about managing. Yes, anthracnose leaf blight is caused by the same pathogen that causes anthracnose stalk rot, but there is no relationship between anthracnose leaf blight and anthracnose stalk rot. And that's because the resistance to anthracnose leaf blight is completely different to that resistance to stalk rot. So there's no need to manage anthracnose leaf blight. Really, it's just a nerdy plant pathology curiosity in corn on cornfields. Thanks for watching.